a measly 270 gold. Better question is probably what can I afford from him? Probably not much. So I'm already faced with a very minor choice, but a choice nonetheless of how I'm going to build this character. And that choice is in what I'm going to use. I almost want to go true to Kale. I almost just want to go Destruction Conjuration, flesh the rest out later. I know those are the two most powerful spellcasting trees by far. Illusion's fun, doesn't even come close. Alteration's pretty much just bad. Uh, Restoration's very useful, but not in the means that it gets things done for you, really. It's, <laughs> it's more just useful to uh, keep you alive, uh, allow other schools of magic to get things done. Um, let's do it. Let's let's get a raised zombie. Why not? Make things a little bit easier on me. Let's increase the size of my party by one. Already. I think I might have the summon familiar. I'm not sure. Ooh, a sack of flour. I think that's a large meal. You can eat a sack of flour. I can just sit down and munch on a sack of flour. Wow. Really odd. Uh, minor healing. I'm going to pick these up. I have a feeling I'm going to need them. As I get used to some things here, uh, some things might be rough. Till next time. Uh, we have to go through town Camilla. and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls oh, Barrow. It's getting dark you out. You can see it from here, though. The mountain just over the buildings. Yeah. Bleak Falls Barrow's up there. Matter of fact, I can see some of the barrow structure. Those things must be mad hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. Hey, Camilla, uh, give me a moment. I, I've got to go... Uh, see to a friend of mine before I leave. He's actually going to accompany me, I believe. I may have to see if I can outfit him. Greeting, Sister Alf. Good to see a familiar face so far from home. You're not a Dunmer. You look like a wood elf. I don't think Camilla will be spending any more time with Sven. I appreciate your help. Please, take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. 25 gold. You're a rich man. Would you follow me, Fandel? Lead the way. Of course he will. Of course Fandle will right follow me. You. I would like to trade some things with what you, do you, sir. Want me to carry? I want you to carry my business. Uh, the iron arrow of the bow. Does he already have a bow? He's actually got a hunting bow. And that is equal to the long bow that I improved. So I'm actually going to take both of those from him. I'm going to improve his hunting bow. Um, and I guess his dagger. I'm going to take all these arrows from him and just give him back one. Firewood. I could use that for making some arrows. Not gonna do it though. He only needs one arrow, and then the rest will be infinite. So uh, Lead, I'll follow. let's see. You're my, you're my, you're my follower, right? So I can, I can basically ransack this house. Uh, you would be way better off with this iron sword than you would the dagger that I'm holding. Oh, another thing that they changed about the perks that I definitely should have mentioned while I was in there, looking at all the perks. Um, at least in the one-handed tree, I don't think this is true of the two-handed tree. In the one-handed tree, they have removed the weapon type requirements for all of the specialization perks, which means that you can get all three different specializations. Uh, you know what, maybe I'm saying this backwards. Maybe this is in the two-handed tree and not the one-handed tree. Can I see? Can I check this real fast while I'm, uh, just providing misinformation? In and out the wazoo. Attacks with swords. Attacks with maces, attacks with axes. Okay, so this is the one-handed tree. It still requires the weapon type. It still has the weapon type restriction. This is the two-handed tree. Attacks with war hammers. Ah, battle axes. Okay, so no, I'm totally wrong. Never mind everything I've said here. And upon finishing my ransacking of Fandel's house. Wow, three daggers up on the shelf. This guy is set up. He's like a uh, apocalypse survivalist. He's got some... Some good food here. I know where I'm coming if I get hungry anytime soon. Uh, before we leave again, oh wow, it is getting really dark out. It is getting really dark out. I bet you uh, you probably have a little bit of difficulty seeing some things on YouTube. Um, I'm going to have to ask you to bear with me. I kind of like it. Uh, I will have to get a torch pretty soon. I don't have any alteration yet, so I do not have candlelight. That might get kind of rough here in the early stages. I'm going to have to pick up a torch pretty soon, and uh, I suppose use it. I guess I could, uh, I could get a little wicked. No, you know what? I'm not sure that even works. Um, did I just, that's not supposed to burn like that. Uh, 
fires aren't supposed to... Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. I'm not going to kill anybody in their home as they sleep. Um, I do want to do some improvement to some of Fandle's stuff, though, before we leave. Increases on that bow. Increases on that sword. I almost want to wait until tomorrow and then right sell some of this stuff. I might try to dip back into this general store. What do you want me to carry? Um, and I almost don't want to do that because waiting till tomorrow is going to, uh, progress my hunger. And, uh, dehydration and basically everything. Unfortunately, Fandle, I don't have the means to deck you out with you more meaningful equipment, like armor. Uh, hopefully you don't die here in this, uh, very first little soiree. We'll see, though. Ah, and the trader is still open. Show those thick. How good oh, of you. A bit of this and a 90 mana, that's thick. Oh my god. Ray Zombie is 90 mana to start out with, and as the only conjuration, I guess, due to the hood I'm wearing, I do have 130, but oh my god, that's a lot. Okay, let's go catch up with Camilla. And, uh. Oh wow, it's getting so dark out. It is getting really dark out. The moon is like. Bam, too. It is like super full. Whoa. Bats? What? No, maybe birds. Wow, it is it's dark enough that like I I've got some trouble seeing here. I've got some trouble seeing like major things like the path. Matter of fact, I think I'm still on it. I can run, I can run like mad. I'm not used to, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, new character, low level character, I'm thinking I can't- Whoa! That wolf is almost totally invisible in the darkness. That's crazy. Vandal, I would love to have some, uh, involvement. That wolf is doing some damage quick, too! Did that get him? Is that a fire- Fire spell fatality? It is! And it actually looked like the, uh, the after effect. Got him more so than just about anything else. The burning. That's something that I kind of expect to have to do here in the early stages. Haven't really done much of yet, but uh, doing the pulse. A little bit of fire. A little bit of fire. A little bit of fire. It does damage over time afterwards, so that's more magicka efficient than just holding it constantly. Because that actually lets the uh, damage that comes afterwards play out a little bit. We're coming up on uh, one of our first real battles. Uh, so when I when I created this character, I actually didn't have Skyrim Realism installed. So all those battles in Helgen Keep were uh, just as I would normally expect them. And they were everything I'm used to. This is going to be quite different. I'm going to sneak with this character because uh, there's no reason not to and it's going to level me up. Uh, eventually my sneak will get good enough that it'll be worth something. I think everything about this is mostly normal still, and I think I'm going to start already delving into Magicka, because just popping a zombie out is going to take a solid 90, and uh, I have to be in combat to even get the corpse for the zombie to work. Enchanting. Enchanting looks a lot different, but honestly it's about the same. The perks are arranged differently, uh, but they're all the same perks. I think it's got to be destruction. I started out with Novice, which is great. Uh, do I want to go dual casting first, or do I want to go straight into a specialization? Notice also that these specializations have four ranks now. These used to have two ranks, and now they have four. That goes from, instead of, uh, I think... Uh, hold on. Now that I say that, I wonder. Did the two ranks used to be 50, 100%, and these are now 25, 50, 75, 100%? Is that what they did? Or did it used to be 25, 50, and now you can do 25, 50, 75, 100? That would be awesome. I actually think it's probably the, uh, the former, though. I think they just added perks there to eventually get to the same effect. Huh. Uh, and as I say that, there's, uh, over in one-handed and two-handed, there's a similar difference that has to do with the amount of damage you can eventually get out of it. Uh, the damage perks, both for one-handed and two-handed, have six ranks now instead of five, which I believe means you can get an extra 25% rank out of that uh, that tree as a whole, which is awesome. Hmm. Okay. Well, uh, let's go over here. Uh, like I said, I want to be a lightning mage. Let's just go ahead and start on down that path. Boom! That means I need to switch my fire out right now. So I guess I won't be doing any of what I was talking about a second ago. 
as far as uh, pumping the spell. I'm going to put that on the number one. And uh, we're going to get to shock in here in just a second. Wow, it is really dark. It's so dark. I'm warning you. Back off. He knows about Feindle, right? Does he know about me? I don't think he saw me. I'm not sure I can do anything without him seeing me. Uh, I am detected. I don't think it's by Feindle either. Here we go! Oh, I caught an arrow and it hurts! Little power attack for you! Wow, this bandit is messing me up! I'm gonna need to get some restoration perks real soon. Let's just go ahead and double up on this. Whoa! I do not have the magic to work this out. I'm thinking that mixing these Skyrim Realism updates with Legendary Difficulty is gonna be too much. Because my magic is hit, and he's got like a fifth of his health missing. He is not going down. Now it's possible I need to just go out in the woods and fight some wolves for a while until I'm a worthy adversary. But uh, I'm not sure I'm cool with that being an acceptable aspect of gameplay. I think if that's an acceptable aspect of gameplay, I'll be reducing that difficulty to master. Uh, let's stick to it for a second, though. Did they kill Feindle? Is Feindle dead? I really can't even tell. It's so dark here. I can't see corpses. I can't see bodies. It's really nuts. Um, somewhere, this warrior's gonna come running back out. You know what? Uh, he regenerated. He regenerated health. He's back up to, like, full health. That's, uh, that's not gonna work. Okay, so I'm... I'm instantly, I, I've got to decrease the difficulty already, I can't really, no, okay, okay, he didn't, there's a second bandit, that makes me a little bit happier, I can tell the magic regeneration is on my side, you can definitely see the effect of that right off, just that uh, I'm able to spam out as much spark action that I, as I just got, and I can do a lot more sprinting, I probably need to be doing a lot more in combat sprinting. Um, I'm slightly thirsty, wow. That's kind of interesting. I probably just need to be doing a ton of sprinting to uh, make combat work out. Oh, that's not good. That was even a power attack. I would really like you to put your arrow down. I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, well, that's enough to show me that uh, I think the difficulty scaling is going to be a bit much uh, in conjunction with legendary difficulty. I gotta do it. There's no way. I'd really like the idea of playing on legendary, but uh, I don't know. It's just ridiculous. Honestly, master is a little bit ridiculous. I've said a lot about their difficulties in my past playthroughs. I'm not, I'm not really gonna put it here. Just what they're asking you to do. I guess I don't, I don't have that level up or anything now, do I? I should sneak. Wow, I really hate losing a life. Well, there's the level up again. Let's just go through all this off cam. Still got the augmented shock, just as before. Um, oh yeah, I need to switch that too. Alright, let's, uh, let's do this a little bit differently. Now that we're on master, let's see how redonkulous it is. I think it's actually still a bit more difficult than Vanilla Skyrim's master. Which is cool. I think I think a bit more difficulty, and I think certain aspects of difficulty is going to be way preferable to just the ridiculousness of Legendary. Oh, Feindle! Watch it, boy! Watch it! I so wish Lightning had an effect that actually did something. <laughs> I'm so bitter. Yeah, I know you're on my side, Feindle. That bandit's not, though. Do I not? Did I not save? Oh, it's two. It's two, that's right. I was hitting the wrong hotkey. Whoa, Feindle. Feindle, I'm sorry. The lighting, my guy. I just didn't know it was you. I think I've hit Feindle with a couple of those hits. Wow, that bandit. I, I can't even see him. I'm sure on YouTube. YouTube, it tends to intensify uh, darknesses. It, t it tends to just kind of drop... Uh, I don't know. Drop some of the light that I have, even. And then, of course, you as a viewer, you, you've got your own brightness settings that may differ from my monitor's brightness settings. Excuse me. Uh, those don't factor into the recording. The recording doesn't use necessarily... Uh, 
Uh, actually, it does. It, they stack. It uses my settings, but your settings stack on top of it. I was trying to word that a uh, ridiculous way at first. I'm just, I'm not even, I'm not even seeing some of these targets. Like, where, where is this guy? That's Feindel, right? That's Feindel? He's out here? There's a guy out here. I see him. I see him. The movement. And now the lightning. They still do huge damage. Oh, yeah. Fatality by lightning. I love it. That is the redeeming factor. Lightning uh, costs more magic for the same damage. Has no bonus effect. But looks cool as hell. I kind of want to take some of this stuff. Let's just take some general hide armor and let's go put it on Feindel. I'm not going to wear it myself. But Feindel should wear it. I definitely am worried about the possibility. You know, I'm hearing, I've been hearing some crazy sounds. I think I'm it's right my stomach you. growling. I think it's like my character getting hungry and getting thirsty. That is, that's a little bit disturbing. It's almost like the pervy yeah. breathing every now and then when your uh, sprinting glitches. I'm definitely going to have to get some, uh, some mage light, candle light. I think actually mage light's the one that you can target. I'm going to have to get some candle light uh, and or carry torches. It's going to start by torches. I'm definitely going to have to get some of those instantly upon entering this dungeon. It is just so dark. I can't see, like, any of the crap here on the table. It said I was slightly thirsty, right? Let's see. Can I... What can I do here? Can I remedy that? I can drink some mead. Strong alcohol. You are no longer thirsty. The mead did it. It quenched my thirst! It's a good deal. Uh... As so long as I don't slam more mead, I should be okay on uh, intoxication level. Go ahead and save that mead for a uh, dry day. And let's progress up to the barrow. I don't know if the sun's coming back out, or if some aspect of the specularity is uh, causing a, a brightness shift. Let's get a little bit of sneaking done again. As I get closer to these bandits, I'll start getting some experience for it. It's always good. These early levels, it's really easy to level up all the skills, and all the skills contribute to your overall level really well. Which may get you out of whack. But I expect to be able to uh, keep things in balance. I'm not nearly sneaky enough yet, but I would so love to be able to get a dagger attack off. All right, here we go. Go ahead and swing. I know you wanna. Woo! Oh, oh, gotta be real careful. Took a second out to power attack one of them. And, uh, let a couple of them get a swing off on me. Oh, took an arrow there, I think. Yeah, there's my archer. If I can take the archer down, the melees are infinitely easier to kite. Whoa, gotta not get stuck in a corner going after this archer, though. I have a slight buzz? What? <laughs> what, what does that mean? I wonder what... Hold on, hold on, can I... Are there effects? Are there effects of a slight buzz? I don't see anything. Huh. <laughs> one, one little, little bottle of mead. I'm already buzzing off of it. Friggin' lightweight dark elves. You and your frail constitution. Go ahead, pull your dagger out. I don't care. I'm super dagger. I don't know why I'm using this much one-handed. I should be doing nothing but the dual wield. Double the damage. Whoa! Now the dual wield heal. That's my dual pistols of love. My love torches. Wow. They have wiped my magic out. Uh, you know, I guess I could, I could whip out a racial. Why not? I've even already got it on. Now as these bandits chase me, and as I get close to this bandit, 
we'll be able to just start messing them up. Is there another? I think there's one more bandit, right? Yeah, he's over here. Good old company. Is that Fandel behind him, or is that another bandit? That's Fandel. And I think we're good now. I think we've wiped them all out! Success! Success with no death. Yeah, legendary? No, I'm sorry. No way. I don't know why they added it. It doesn't make any sense. To a degree, part of the master difficulty doesn't make any sense. It's just crazy. I guess you can you can kind of deck a character out to where way later in the game it gets to where even on master you can kind of two and three shot a lot of enemies. Uh, but even then the dragons, they never get that easy. The easy dragons do, but the harder dragons, even on master difficulty, half hour fights, it's ridiculous. It's craziness. Absolute insanity, I tell ye. Let's see if we can get a torch here. See if we can, uh... I already, I already like... Well, you know what? I was gonna say, uh, as far as realism goes, that sucks. Because it's nighttime out. It's darker than that outside right now. <laughs> so, light shining in here, eh. Not so much. A steel sword. I bet Fainda would like that. I don't think I'm gonna go through the trouble though. Honestly, it's not so much of an upgrade that I've just got to do it. Couple bandits talking about uh, one of their comrades apparently abandoning them. Uh, let's see if I can go this route. Yeah, they're on to Fandle. Oh man. Uh, there's no way. I would really love to get a, a little sneak in, but it's not gonna happen. Wow, this outlaw. This outlaw is taking damage slow. Okay. Let's break bad on him. There are two of them. These novice level spells do have a bit of a cone AoE. It's pretty small. But so long as you can uh, get them both out in front of you can shock them both at the same time. The Magicka has already run out. If we can take out this archer, then we could uh, get Fandle to focus with us on the other gentleman. A novice lock? Sure! Let's take a short pause in the middle of combat and let's get wicked with the lock pickery. Oh, and there it is. Oh, oh! Oh, hold up. Oh, this is gonna be nasty. He's swinging. He even progressed the swing as I came out of the lockpick into the actual inventory. Oh, God! I did not take that hit. The dodge worked! Now, uh, I need to make the magicka potions work for me. God, I've got so much magic already that these minor magic potions are nothing. Both of ya! Both of ya! Oh, she took a knee! Whoa! We're gonna have to not use magicka and finish. Oh no, she did get finished off. Okay, okay, let's see if we can. Woo! Is the dagger fast enough? Is the dagger fast enough? If I take another hit, I'm probably had. Is Fandle somewhere around here? I feel like he's taken a knee a couple times in this fight already. Yeah, it does. Goodbye! Fatality! The lightning was too much. He crumpled under the weight of my magics. I like having a female character in the mix, but I probably should have made this a male character. That way if I wanted to roleplay, I could just whip it out some. But no, alas it is a dark elf female. Roleplay from my very obviously male voice. I'm slightly thirsty again. I wonder if I can just get drunk here. I wonder, can I, is this just gonna, mead, boom. I'm no longer thirsty, right? I am full. I am very buzzed. It says that I am very buzzed. Is that, are things a little bit blurry? I feel like things are a little bit blurry. I feel like I'm, I'm losing a little bit of myself. Uh, I guess, have, have I, have I never properly shown you my character? I'm not sure that I have. Uh, the hood. Oh, yeah. Quintal Von Ray. 
Yeah. Well, there. Now you have seen her. And, uh, now you've seen... Hold on, let me check this. It does look a little bit blurry. Oh, there is an effect for it. I am suffering from intoxication. Huh. It doesn't... It doesn't actually tell me the effect. That bothers me a little bit. Um, I think... Hold on, I just want to see something. I think when you're intoxicated, whenever you're sprinting, you have a... You have a chance of, of like, tripping up. Of, like, being staggered from sprinting. I kind of want to see it happen. Wow, stamina works for, like, a ton of sprinting. That's, that's an awesome change. I love that they reduce the amount of stamina that sprinting takes. That's beautiful. Just because travel in Skyrim, oh my god, it's such a pain anyway. This is, this is really awesome. I haven't seen myself stumble, so I don't know. Maybe I'm not intoxicated enough. I think that's a possibility. There are varying levels of intoxication. And uh, that's going to have to do it for this little uh, introductory couple episodes. So, of course, thank you all for watching. Please do subscribe if you're not already subscribed. It'll help you follow my content. It'll tell me that I'm doing the right thing, building that subscriber base. Uh, tell me also, leave me a comment down below. Tell me about these mods. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you like the lighting mod, if you don't like the lighting mod, if everything's too dark for you, or if the darkness is a nice addition. Of course, you haven't seen torches yet. You haven't seen exactly how dungeon crawling's gonna look, but we'll see that real soon. Give me your first impression, though. Tell me what you think about sky realism. Tell me what you think about my opinions of legendary difficulty and why I'm an idiot and why there are clearly huge benefits and reasons. Oh, check it out, my intoxication level went down and I noticed the screen get clearer. So there is definitely a blurring effect on the screen as your intoxication goes up. That's pretty cool. Um, anyway, tell me about everything. Tell me, this new playthrough, I need to know. I need direction. See you later.